On January 27th, 2021, the NBA announced the All-Star starters, and among the starters for the All-Star team in the West was Andrew Wiggins. A lot of fans were up in arms about Wiggins making the team, but Wiggins has turned into a top two-way contributor on a Warriors team that's one of the best teams in the NBA. With the way he's playing right now, it's easy to forget that just a few seasons ago, Andrew Wiggins was labeled as a bust. Back in 2014, he was one of the most hyped prospects ever, and he was regularly drawing comparisons to NBA legends like Kobe Bryant and LeBron James. He ended up being the number one overall pick by the Cavaliers, but he was immediately traded to the Timberwolves in exchange for Kevin Love. At the time, it looked like the Wolves had their franchise centerpiece. By 2017, Andrew Wiggins was averaging 23 points per game, but in spite of those numbers, the Wolves were still one of the worst teams in the Western Conference. In fact, the Wolves missed the playoffs four out of Wiggins' five years in Minnesota. While Wiggins always put up impressive numbers, they appeared more like empty stats on a bad team. His scoring was good, but his defense was extremely bad despite being very athletic, and he also struggled mightily with his three-point shooting and shot selection. Wiggins seemed like yet another number one pick that failed to live up to expectations, but in 2019, a trade happened that changed his career forever. The Minnesota Timberwolves agreed to trade Andrew Wiggins in a first round pick to the Golden State Warriors for D'Angelo Russell. The Warriors were taking on a risk, trading a former All-Star for a player who had underachieved up to that point. But now the trade looks like a steal for Golden State. Not only is Wiggins now an All-Star, but the first round pick the Warriors received allowed them to draft James Wiseman. But the Warriors were confident that they could turn Andrew Wiggins' career around as they have a great record of reviving careers. JaVale McGee, Damian Lee, and now the emerging Gary Payton II are just a few examples of players who became significantly better on the Warriors. Since joining the Warriors, Wiggins has transformed into an elite two-way force. After ranking as the worst small forward defender by Bleach Report back in 2017, Wiggins is now one of the best wing defenders in the entire league. On the Warriors, Wiggins usually gets the job of defending the other team's top scorer, and he usually does a fantastic job. At 6'8 with a 7-foot wingspan and great athleticism, he's got the physical tools to guard multiple positions and guard them very well. On the season, Wiggins has a defensive field goal percentage of just 42%, which is 4 percentage points below his opponent's average. And he's also a good off-ball defender, whether it's getting steals or deflections or rotating on the weak side for blocks. Overall, Wiggins is the top wing stopper on a top five defensive team, which has not only earned him his first all-star team, but should also earn him serious consideration for the all defensive teams. And on the offensive end, Andrew Wiggins is the Warriors second leading scorer, averaging 18 points per game. And he's been very efficient with a 58% true shooting percentage. The main reason he's so efficient is because Wiggins is one of the best slashers in the NBA. Thanks to his quickness and handle, he can get to the rim at will, and thanks to his size and athleticism, he's able to easily elevate over defenders and finish at the rim. And it's not uncommon to see him put someone on a poster. On the season, Wiggins is shooting 71% within 5 feet of the basket, an extremely elite level of efficiency we only see in players like LeBron and Giannis. And Wiggins has also become one of the top catch and shoot 3 point shooters. His 41% shooting from three ranks 17th in the entire league in three-point percentage. This is extremely impressive from someone who struggled with his outside shot for most of his career. Andrew Wiggins' ability to knock down open threes improves the spacing in the Warriors' offense and creates driving lanes for his teammates. It also improves his ability to get to the rim as defenders have to play on his defense on him to prevent his outside shot. Overall, Thanks to his hard work and dedication, and the great team culture in Golden State, Wiggins has transformed from an underachiever to one of the best two-way players in the league, and that's how he's gone from draft bust to 2022 All-Star. But that's going to be it for me, guys. Do you think Andrew Wiggins should have been an All-Star? Tell me in the comments. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and check out some of my other content. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.